who is he addressing is he addressing a foreign audience okay let's say that okay he is he is addressing the uh, funders of congress or the uh, the left liberal gang uh, who would probably um, try and create some kind of narrative war and you know very well that this narrative war that is being unleashed from the west it doesn't affect anybody how many people read new york times or washington times in india in fact how many people read the english press how many people watch the english news channels you can pick up any bark rating example and see that the consumption of english news in the overall scenario of the country is about 1 oblique 500 within the hindi landscape it is about 1 oblique 200 so that being the case it uh, in fact it doesn't even stir the surface as far as the public in india is concerned except that uh, they get alarmed that uh, here is a guy who is going abroad and bad mouthing people and telling britain and us to intervene correct Now, <laughs> the gall mrs indira gandhi's favorite election pitch always used to be the foreign hand foreign hand correct <laughs> that's because she understood the pulse of the indian people they hate nothing more than have than foreign hand foreign hand <laughs> and here is a guy an aspiring leader in his own right first of all right now is aspiring to be the unanimous leader of the opposition in fact uh, i have this theory that he is doing all this basically to tell the other opposition leaders say look i am accepted in the west you all are also getting help from the west so therefore because the west recognizes me so you all recognize me as the challenger to modi oh achha. that is that is my theory mm-hmm. that is my theory because of course it doesn't because all this uh, doesn't affect the uh, indian public one bit mm-hmm. nobody is bothered except uh, that minuscule 0.000001% left liberal class correct correct and most of them don't go to vote anyway <laughs> so, so he is not impressing them mm. he is trying to impress the opposition leaders he is trying to tell kcr look kcr look take Stalin, me seriously <laughs> look mamata banerji <laughs> all you people you are beholden to the west for the support the narrative support that you get so because they are supporting me you you accept me as the undisputed challenger to modi that's 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 that's, that's my theory purely okay okay <laughs> <laughs> completely uh, subject to rebuttal <laughs> well i mean i guess but uh, i i think if you <laughs> look at a few more things that he does goes to chetham house hmm chetham rss rss fascist hmm. and plant somebody that malini mehra was planted there hmm. oh yes hmm actually he says that my father was an rss man and then i dug out an article yesterday from the guardian and uh, that was 11th may 2003 where it says that uh, this uh, madho mehra or madholal mehra the father traces traces history right from 1990 where he claims he was a government official so when did he join the rss, RSS. from 1990 he supposed to be abroad mm. so when was he in the rss that is one secondly this malini mehra herself it is quoted in the guardian i did the show yesterday i i quoted that i read it out she herself says that this guy indulges in misrepresentation about her father and he cannot be relied upon about her father uh, yeah, about her father the same 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 father who, who she is now calling an rss man so i am saying i mean 
come on just imagine the incompetence the sheer incompetence you can't even plant somebody correctly somebody correctly <laughs> right and even if it is a staged show a damn it stage it properly correct correct <laughs> i must mean, imagine how gosh this whole thing is how incompetent please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar